Happy Friday, everybody. Your loan guy, Joe, here with Joe's Mortgage Minute. You may have heard recently that the Fed is going to allow inflation to run a little bit hotter, around 2% or so. And they don't see interest rates moving up until after 2023. So you're hearing this and you're probably thinking to yourself, hmm, maybe I should wait and hold off on purchasing or refinancing because the interest rates might just go lower right you've been thinking that it's the exact opposite why since the feds are going to allow inflation to run a little hotter and the federal fund rate will remain low and remember the federal fund rate is the interest rate that banks lend to each other and it's only a one day commitment it has nothing to do with mortgage rates because those last for 30 years. How's this for an illustration? If you were going to lend me money and you could change rates every day, you wouldn't be too concerned about inflation. So if you locked on a rate for a day and inflation was starting to go up, you can just change it tomorrow. That's the federal fund rate. However, if you're a mortgage investor and you have to put that rate out there for 30 years, you're gonna be concerned about inflation because even though you are receiving a fixed monthly payment each and every month, you start to see inflation go up. That money that you're receiving, that buying power is starting to erode and dwindle. So you are concerned about inflation and now you're committed for the next 30 years. So mortgage investors know that inflation is not a good thing for mortgage rates and may be reluctant to offer lower rates than we have now. So what does that mean to you for those who are considering purchasing or refinancing soon? Your loan guy Joe is telling you to get off the fence. Seriously, if you're thinking about refinancing or purchasing soon and you're qualified to do so, do it. If you're in the middle of refinancing and purchasing and your loan officer has sent you a list of items, W-2s, year-to-date pay stubs, bank statements, etc., and you're taking your time getting back to him because maybe rates would go lower, wrong. You're going to miss what we have now. It's like that old analogy of one bird in the hand. Same thing. So please, if you're going to apply for a loan, apply. If your lender is waiting on you, to turn in your borrowed documentation, turn it in. And when the best rate for you comes up, lock it and close that purchase or close that refinance. I hope you take this as I mean it, a gentle push off the fence. I'm your loan guy, Joe, and I'll catch you next time.